yo 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 another day another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off I am sitting chilling in the park it is a warm beautiful stunning day here in San Francisco I'm I'm stoked to be here I'm so glad to be back and the weather is so nice oh my gosh look at this day so I already I've already knocked out some caviar deliveries and you know the tips are kind of like this kind of like this hey how's, how's it going this, this guy's watching me vlogging but anyway I'm gonna keep talking to y'all and forget about that dude over there but anyway what do I got going on today so I just got a message on my phone saying that boosted board number four just arrived so I'm gonna go and pick it up and you know test it out unbox it figure it out now this is not a new boosted board this is like an old used one I was gonna get a new one but then I was looking at the prices plus tax plus tax you know that's like hundred and fifty dollars even more you know and I was thinking well I could probably find a used one and what do I really need I really need a charger I need some motors and I need um, I guess another standard range battery I actually thought this board that I was buying came with a, 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 a extended range battery but no this one actually comes with a standard range I guess I'm gonna have like five standard range boosted batteries in like I guess today well I guess that works that's a lot of standard range batteries and I don't even have one I don't even have one working extended range battery I don't want to make this video all about skateboards but anyway this is what I got going on and yo let's get this video started let's check the temperature right now I'm very curious to see how warm it is wow it is 32 around here or 90 degrees that's pretty freaking warm that's flipping warm especially for SF see on nice warm days like this it's really nice to work because it's not cold it's not windy it's nice and sunny but also everyone else wants to work that same exact time too and then on the flip side there's a lot of people that are stuck in these office buildings and it's a really really nice day so what do they want to do they want to leave the office and go out to eat and then go back to the office sunny days are really really nice to work especially if it's a sunny day that's like out of the blue now we, we've had a lot of sunny days in a row lately and the weather has just been amazing and on sunny days tons of people come out and work also on the flip side you have less people ordering food because it's nice outside instead of ordering food you can just go and leave the office and go pick food up and go back and eat your food yourself or go out to eat or something like that but when it's raining and when it's windy and when it's cold you have way less people willing to leave and go get food and you have way more people willing to order food on an app but then on the flip side when the weather is really really crappy and when it's cold and rainy you have less people that want to work for apps so right now I'm working like crazy because the weather is amazing but soon as the weather switch up I'm probably gonna switch up probably be doing something completely different but that's just the name of the game that's why I love this independent contractor lifestyle but I guess they want to make us like all employees or something I think that is not the, the best idea I totally like the idea of giving giving independent contractors a little bit more I want to say more benefits because a lot of people work in the sharing economy and they do the same job every day so what different is it being an employee or not it's almost like you are an employee I mean you go to the same places you work the same hours you work the same times and then with the whole bonus structure that kind of makes it a little weird it's like you're sort of getting me to work because of the bonuses you know just kind of thought that I would just throw that up I kind of had that on my mind so right now I think I'm gonna go skate over back to mid market and then from there I gotta go run over to Oakland to do a quick errand and that's pretty much what I got going on today I'll probably go out and jam out work a little bit later today maybe like five or six probably six today is gonna be crazy warm and it's not even it's not even the heat of the day right now and I'm just I'm just going with the flow right now because I'm jamming I got some music in my ear and it's just it's just right I don't know anyway next what up Anthony What's up? Vlogger. You're on something fresh right now, dude. Got the Onyx bot, guys. This guy out here riding, Watch yo. Watch this thing take off. Watch this take off, y'all. I'm gonna take off too. I can't even keep up. <laughs> That's a bike. <laughs> Holy cow. Bro, that's some intense takeoff. That's crazy. That's insane. 
I like it. That is dope. <laughs> is that the charging thing? Yeah, yeah. So it has like a little charging port on the side. Okay, got something in this box here. But first off, there's some some salad over there. Let's go grab some salad really fast and let this charge up. Meanwhile, hmm, have some rapid food. Okay, so I'm opening the box here. It looks like whoever packaged this thing, they wrapped an electric skateboard in bubble wrap. Yeah, they literally wrapped this whole thing in bubble wrap, which is not a bad thing. It's not bad, but it, you know, when you wrap these things on the street and then you ship it in bubble wrap, it's like, <laughs> does it make any sense? Yeah, the wheels look decent. Yeah, the wheels look really good. Let's cut all this bubble wrap out of here. Okay, here's the old one, here's the new one. Wow, this one looks a whole lot better than the one I'm riding on. Like, a whole lot better. Even the wheels look a lot better. Huh. Oh, these motors are pretty normal, too. Looks like a pretty pretty good deal. I wonder why would they put tape on the back here? Maybe to just give it extra extra protection, or maybe they they scrape these up against the ground. Now these are the connections for the motors. If they did scrape these up against the ground, that's totally not a problem because I'll probably give these motors about two months and they'll be totally, totally done. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna have to tighten this back, this back truck, that's super loose. Yeah, that's super loose. But yeah, this looks like a pretty good deal. I guess I better charge this thing up really fast because, uh, is it charged? Almost charged. Yeah, let's charge this up really fast. We got another protest. These people literally have nothing else to do all day but block the streets. Like, this is insane. Why can't the police just arrest all these idiots? Like, this is just really annoying. Like, look at this. I mean, look at this. This is a freaking disaster, right? What I'm trying to figure out is like, how, like, how is all of this legal? Like, how can you just come and take over the streets and paint stuff in the streets? Like, how, do, how do you do this and get away with it? <laughs> oh my God. All right, another day, another adventure. <laughs> Hey, y'all better be careful today. The police out, it's the end of the month and it's a nice day. Wow, so this is what those hippies did to the street earlier today. They put all this stuff here. I mean, it actually looks kind of nice, you know? It, it beats the, the ground, the, the asphalt. But it only lasts for like a day or two.
Okay, fast forward a little bit later. Found a new vegan spot in SF in the Mission District. So uh, let's make this disappear. Later now, homeboy Jermaine is laying in bed, which is nice, nice, nice. About to get ready to watch a couple YouTube videos and then pass out. And hopefully I don't forget to put my phone on charger. Maybe I should charge it now. So that way I can get that software update overnight. And then tomorrow morning when I wake up and you know grab my phone and it'll already be updated with the latest software that sort of thing but that's pretty much what i got going on today was another awesome day today was another fun random day and it was also very very warm i checked the forecast for tomorrow and it it's gonna be warm but it's definitely it, it definitely won't be as warm as it, it was today as of now it's like 11 o'clock right now and it is it's cooled off quite a bit it feels amazing outside it you know it's breezy and Earlier today was breezy, but it was just like, it was warm air. And right now it's that cool air from the ocean and, oh boy, Jermaine can relax and breathe and chill and get ready for tomorrow. Cause like tomorrow is, won't be as hot, but then the day after that it's supposed to rain. And then the day after that it's supposed to be really, really windy. So yeah, we, we, we got, we got all sorts of weather going on around here, but anyway, Homeboy Jermaine is out. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And peace out, yo.